Hi, my name is Nikhil Parekh and I want to welcome you to this training program. I want to, to encourage you to take lots of notes, so grab a journal or a notebook so you can write all your notes in one central spot. You don't want bits of pieces of paper because you'll end up losing these bits of paper. So grab a journal or a notebook and document all your notes in one central spot. I'll share a little bit about me shortly, but just to give you an overview, I've been involved in the security, disaster recovery, cybersecurity, risk management industries since 1995. I've had a wealth of experience consulting to many large scale firms. In fact, in the early 2000s, I was contracted by large corporations, including many banks, to perform ethical penetration testing on their networks. That meant we would test the security of their banking systems and find flaws and find vulnerabilities within their network and report back to the heads of those departments. We were even tasked to physically access banking locations and corporate locations. We would have a get out of jail free card from the top level management so that if the police ever caught us, we would have a way of getting out of jail per se because we had permission to actually infiltrate the organization using persuasion techniques, using covert techniques to actually rely on people within the corporation to let us into the workplace. So I'll be sharing lots of those stories through this course, but this course is focused on things relating to cybersecurity. So this course will give you a detailed guide to install Kali Linux on your virtual box machine or on a PC, which will allow dual booting of Kali Linux. You will be introduced to step-by-step -step instructions of enabling wireless hacking using Kali Linux. This will allow you to scan for wireless networks and other wireless devices and scan and figure out where the vulnerabilities are within those particular devices. I'll also introduce you to Nmap, which is a security scanner, port scanner, and network exploration tool. Who is this course for? This course is for anyone wanting to learn how to set up a proper ethical hacking environment from the ground up. I'll go step by step from the basics all the way to advanced tactics on how to set up an environment. And this course is also for anyone wanting to learn the basics of ethical hacking. This is also for business owners to understand what hackers have access to in the marketplace and how best to protect yourself. The only way to protect yourself is to understand what is available what can be done and what controls you can put in place to make sure you minimize any risk or consequence to your business. Now I'll introduce myself a bit more and then we'll get on to the training program. If you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn as of yet, I strongly advise that you connect with me. If you look through my profile, you will note that I have worked with some amazing people. I've worked with high profile celebrities featured on the Miss USA, the Miss Universe pageant, The Apprentice, the hit TV show with Donald Trump. I've worked with stars who have been on the ABC network or in the Wall Street Journal, the NBC, the CBS network, even the Fox network. Now, I don't say this to brag, but I say this because none of these deals would have happened if I had not negotiated my way to make these things happen. Now, I've worked with multimillionaires. I've worked with billionaire clients. Now, that doesn't happen by accident. There's certain steps that have to be taken that become the foundation of negotiation. And I will be sharing these secrets with you in this particular program. Here's just one example of an endorsement from a client who I actually helped achieve some of his goals. So if you read this endorsement, he says, Nikhil is a seriously inspiring individual that understands the power of thinking big. When I was much younger, he was a mentor to me. 
and really helped me realize the power of thinking big. That was when I was 15. I started a company called Appster with Mark McDonald when I was 19. Two years later, we have 110 staff globally and revenue in the multiple seven figures. Now, if I was able to help someone achieve a goal of getting to build a massive company worth millions of dollars, I am sure I am able to assist you. Just as another example of achieving your dream life, I grew up in a village in South Africa. I was classified as Indian in South Africa. And being Indian, we were not classified as white people. And whites in South Africa at that point had more privileges than Indians or non-whites. We were not allowed to eat in certain restaurants because we were non-white. We were not allowed to sit on certain benches because we were not white. We were not allowed to visit restrooms or, or toilets. We had separate toilets from whites and non-whites had separate toilets. We were had to live in certain areas because we were not white. So Indian people were, were basically segregated to live in Indian areas, to go to Indian schools. I remember as a child, about 10 years old, going to a clothing store. And at that clothing store, it was, you can buy the clothes, you can pay for the clothes, you can not try the clothes out in the store because you are not white. So it meant that I had to pay for the clothes and take the clothes home, my home being 40 minutes to an hour away from the departmental store. I could try the clothes out at home, and if the clothes didn't fit, I was able to bring the clothes back for a change in size or a refund, but I was not allowed to try the clothes out in the store because I was classified as not white. Now, I don't know what that would do to you, but for me, it instilled a desire and drive to create an ideal life for myself and for my family. We migrated to Australia 25 years ago, and I haven't looked back. I still have fond memories of South Africa and my family and friends back home, but that will always be home. But I will never, ever forget the life that I was given because of the state of government at that time. So I made it my lifelong mission to achieve my dream life. And why do I show you this image on the screen? Because this image is the image I have from the balcony of my office. I see this every day. I look out and I see the Harbour Bridge. I see the Centre Point Tower. I see this beautiful view of Sydney City. And I don't know about you, but I was a young kid growing up in South Africa with not many dreams or aspirations at the time but I made it my lifelong dream to start achieving a dream life. And I've been able to help millionaires and billionaires, and I've helped thousands of people all around the world achieve their dream lives, and I know I can help you achieve yours too.